Pythagorean identities, right? The first thing when we talked about a triangle, one of the first things you guys learned about a right triangle was the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to use the idea of this with our trigonometric functions. So what I'm going to use this with is, if you remember, when we were talking about the unit circle, all right, we have our circle here. And it's going to look something beautiful like that. And the unit circle was important because we knew that it had a radius of 1. So then when I create a right triangle by drawing a perpendicular laying down to the x-axis, and I create my angle theta, one thing we determined was we can now rewrite our sides of a triangle as x and y. So by using trigonometric identities, we said that the sine of theta was equal to y over 1, which is equal to the y-coordinate. And the cosine of theta was equal to x over 1, which is equal to x. Then we say the tangent of theta was equal to y over x. Now, why is this so important? Well, let's you go ahead and use. So therefore, we can say that sine of theta was really in there for y. So let's recreate this triangle. So instead of using y, I can now say sine of theta. And I can also say cosine of theta. Well, if you say sine of theta and cosine of theta at 1, by using Pythagorean theorem, you know that sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta has to equal 1 squared, or just 1. So this is a Pythagorean identity. Whenever you're coming across sine and cosines, you can use this identity to help you simplify answers or um, solve, your, uh, solve an equation. The other ones we can work on is you can also look at 1 plus tangent squared is going to equal secant squared. And our other Pythagorean identity is going to be 1 plus cotangent squared equals cosecant squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your three Pythagorean identities. Um, they come from our unit circle and our triangle in there, and then also using the Pythagorean theorem, obviously, um, with our trigonometric functions. So there you go. Please remember these. They're going to be very helpful later on in the year. Thanks so much.